Hi students and welcome to this live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I am broadcasting to you from beautiful Budapest. I hope everybody is having a great day. All right, students. Um, this class, IELTS speaking section, focusing on part three. Uh, we will be looking at questions, strategies, focusing on a lot of practice today with a lot of feedback. Good to see so many students in class on time. Hi, Pachu. Hi, Kyber. Hi, Tina. Good to see members. Hi, Amrit. Hi, Gulzoda. Uh, so nice to see so many students. Uh, for academic uh, IELTS, check us out at aehelp.com. That's academicenglishhelp.com for general uh, version of the test, check us out at gieltshelp.com. Uh, on both of those websites, we have loads of materials to help you really increase those band scores to get those high band 7, even 8, 9. Uh, use the uh, code uh, LIVE20, L-I-V-20, for a 20% discount from our premium uh, courses on our websites. Websites look like this. This is the academic one with the blue background. Click that Join Now red button. Uh, it will bring you to our checkout form, and then you can click on this uh, Use Coupon Code. Ooh, that's huge. Uh, and uh, there you can type in L-I-V-E 20, and it will adjust the price for you. Uh, for the general version of the test, uh, it's the green background. Click that red button, same idea. Use the code LIVE20 for a 20% discount. Students, if you have questions about our products, uh, about the exam, we are here to help you. Uh, we know how important this test is for all of you, whether for school or immigration. We really want you to succeed uh, and be happy and successful. So don't be shy. You can send me an email, adrian, A-D-R-I-A-N, at aehelp.com. Hi, Harminder. Uh, hi, Patricio. Hi, Sheng Tun Sui. Uh, good to see you all in class. Um, you can buy our uh, six original practice exams by searching Amazon for AE Helps Academic IELTS or GE Helps General IELTS. Let's get to part three. Here we go. So speaking on the IELTS exam, it's an interview. Uh, whether you're doing paper-based or computer-based version of the exam, the speaking section is the same. It's a face-to-face, one-on-one interview with a native English-speaking trained examiner. Many students think that uh, it's easier in some countries than other countries. They think, hey, it's more difficult in China, so if I go to uh, Korea or another country, it will be easier. This is not true. Uh, it should be the same difficulty no matter what country you are in. The examiners have the same training uh, and they're looking for the same kinds of details and responses, okay? Um, <clears throat> Ivana, in two hours, you have your speaking, good. So Ivana, good luck on your speaking test. Don't be nervous. I'm going to give you a tip, Ivana, so that you're not so nervous uh, in your exam in two hours. Uh, when you walk into the test, just picture that the examiner is your grandpa or your grandma. So uh, they see lots of students. You're not the only one. I'm sure they will see students who don't have as good of English as you. Uh, and uh, just be confident, loud, uh, comfortable. At the end of the day, Ivana, you're just a number for the examiner. They have a number, uh, your IELTS registration number on the sheet. Um, so don't worry about your examiner. Don't worry if they're strict or happy or anything like that, okay? Just focus uh, and picture that it's your uh, grandma or your grandpa. And Ivana, very importantly, in this uh, live stream, repeat what you hear. So use your English. You're very smart to... Uh, focus on using English right now before your exam. Uh, focus on repeating, Ivana. Focus on repeating what you hear, okay? And also, uh, viewers, uh, remember, two billion people, two 
billion, it's uh, literally a quarter of the world's population, speak English as a second language to a greater or lesser degree. So if you have uh, an accent or your pronunciation isn't perfect, don't worry about it, okay? Two billion people speak English as a second language. Don't worry about it. All right, um, today we are focusing on these three points in our responses, answering, explaining, and an example. Okay, so the goal here is answer, explain, example. Do that well, you will get a high band score. Okay, all right. Um, so let's uh, look at part three. Uh, the examiner will say something like, uh, that is the end of part two. And now uh, I will continue with part three. For part three, I will ask you some questions related to the topic of part two. Uh, let's talk about making money. It's kind of a interesting one for today. Uh, so you notice that uh, part three, it has these double questions. What are the most common ways that people earn money? Uh, what are less common ways to earn money? So uh, that's the follow-up question, the second one. In part three, uh, the examiners are looking at kind of these double questions because they ask you this one first. When you give the answer, they'll ask you that second as a follow-up. Okay, so uh, let me show you what I mean by uh, answer, explain, example. Okay, so what are the most common ways that people earn money? Um, well, most individuals get money by either working for a salary or running a business. I would say that makes up at least 90% of the world's population. Myself, I own a business and make a profit that way. Okay, so uh, what am I doing here? Giving an answer, explaining, Example, notice how it smooths really flow, uh, the uh, example flows really smoothly. So uh, I don't say for instance or for example, I just start with myself, okay? Again, students, this is speaking, so I really want to believe, I really want to believe uh, that you are saying these questions and answers uh, nice and loud, okay? And you can answer. I will look at your answers. This is just to give you the example of what I'm looking for today. So repeat after me. What are the most common ways that people earn money? Well, most individuals get money by either working for a salary or running a business. I would say that makes up at least 90% of the world's population. Myself, I own a business and make a profit that way. All right, works fine. Great, let's see, I can uh, reflect on some of the answers um, that students have in the chat. So Shushant Pangeni says, there are different sorts of ways to make money, such as business, working in IT department, like a programmer, as well as an entrepreneur. Yeah, uh, entrepreneur is uh, spelt a little bit different, Shushant, but uh, you're on the right track. Okay, that works, sure. Uh, Vish Parvani, good to see you in class, Vish. Uh, you, I think you missed our members chat, which was earlier. Try to get in on those classes. So Vish says, common ways to earn money is mostly by getting a degree and starting a job. Right, Vish, that's good. Okay, that's also a good way. Uh, Vish says, and most unethical way to earn money is by doing illegal activities. Uh, yes, Vish, but that's not a common way, right? Most people do not earn money by doing illegal activities. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully the world hasn't gotten that bad. Um, so careful with that. And Vish, don't use the word things, okay? Don't use the word things. Uh, instead, use a better noun like activities, 
All right. Okay, Harminder says every individual can earn money by doing jobs or starting their own business. For instance, my father is working in Matut Gold Loan as a manager, and he gets a good salary every month. Uh, good, uh, Harminder. Uh, instead of, for instance, Harminder, a lot of times IELTS examiners now cut students off when they hear the word for instance or for example. So don't use for instance or for example. Um, instead, just say like my father who works at uh, Mahout Gold Loan as a manager. Okay. Marasa, Baraki, good to see you in class. Uh, well, the way of earning money depends on the task or job. Certain people are government employees. On the other hand, uh, some run a private business like, and then you go into an example. Good. We're on the same page. All right. Um, so that's what we're focusing on. Answer, explain, example. Do that. You'll do great. Okay. Uh, so then the uh, examiner will ask the follow-up question. What are less common ways to earn money? Go for it, students. What are less common ways to earn money? Hint, hint. One student already mentioned it, just in the wrong place. Right? And if you can't think of an answer right away, buy some time. Hmm. It's an interesting question. Please allow me a moment. Okay, you can lead in with that. Uh, Shrinhi Yer says, by running a nonprofit organization, you'd have to explain what you mean by that. It's possible, uh, but you have to explain what you mean. Like, how do you make money running a nonprofit organization? Uh, Shrinder, remember, answer, explain, example. You just answered, and it's not clear. You can't get a high mark that way, all right? But it's a good start. It's a good start. Uh, Chinky Wadwa says, well, according to me, the least, uh, unpreferred path by people is getting money from lottery as well as gambling. For example, one of my uncles earns a hefty amount of money, uh, by winning on the lottery. Uh, Chinky, that's good. Yeah. Gambling is absolutely a less common way of making money. It's usually a common way of losing money. Um, careful Chinky with too much leading expression. So, well, according to me, the least unpreferred path, a little bit awkward. Uh, Chinky, I would say, according to me, um, a less common path uh, for people to get money is from lottery or other types of gambling. Like my uncle, who uh, won a couple million dollars a few years ago on the lottery. Okay. Uh, Gulzoda says, well, a lot of people earn money by working or doing their own business. Myself, I work at school and the government pays me. It's the way I make a profit. Gulzoda, that's good for the uh, previous question, right? Uh, make sure to uh, really focus on uh, the controlling ideas here. It's less common ways. If you answer a common way to make money here, it's incoherent and your band score will drop. So careful about that. Okay. Uh, Murasa, we do not say recapture my mind. So don't use that. It's not a natural expression. Okay. In English. Amrit says some people make money online these days, like most bank employees make 50,000 per annum in Canada and they just work from home. Um, Amrit, that's a good answer for the first question. What are common ways that people make money? Making money online is common these days. It's not less common. Okay. All right. So now we're answering less common ways to make money. Uh, Shushan says the less probable way to earn money is not legally like uh, hacking uh, online recently, Kevin Mednick, which is also known as the father of hackers, hacked 29 banks in the USA. Uh, Shushant, very good answer, especially if you know that little fact, uh, to add in there. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so here's an answer. You can repeat after me less frequent ways of 
making money is either through illegal activity like robbing a bank uh, or by gambling like going to the casino and winning a hundred thousand dollars as my friend Tim did last year in Vegas. Okay, there you go. That would be, I'll darken the screen up so you can see that a little bit more clearly. There we go. Um, so that would be a good answer. Uh, notice the uh, correlative conjunction, either or. Uh, again, answer, explain, example. So uh, repeat after me. Less frequent ways of making money is either through illegal activity, like robbing a bank, or gambling, like going to the casino and winning 100 grand, uh, as my friend Tim did last year in Vegas. Okay, that works. Great. All right. Uh, I see that there are lots of other good answers in the chat. Um, don't be shy. Um, keep chatting. If I didn't catch you this time, I'll catch you the next time. Uh, Amrit, Tim is getting famous, perhaps. Uh, and that's another way to make money that's less common is to be famous, right? To be an actor or a singer. It's less common, but... Uh, some celebrities do make good money. There's just less of them. Okay. Um, next question. Let's keep going. Again, students, don't be shy. Repeat me. Repeat your fellow students. Some of them have some great answers. Okay. Here we go. So next question. How have people changed their thinking about money over the past half century. How have people changed their thinking about money over the past half century? The IELTS examiner will not repeat themselves. I'm just repeating to make it a little bit simpler for you. Okay, so how have people changed their thinking about uh, make money over the past half century? Okay. There's some good answers for this. And a lot of students say, oh, the part three questions can be so strange. Um, keep it simple, okay? Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it, okay? So Mehmed says, due to challenging conditions uh, to maintain uh, livelihood, money has become a very essential element for people's survival, okay? Mehmet, that's very good. I did some corrections in real time there for you, but it's a very good idea, okay? Uh, LO3P211C underscore says, uh, people now believe that making money uh, through easy jobs has become common, okay? Um, sure, LO3P2, uh, that's good. Just careful with word choice and grammar and give me explanations and examples. Okay, you have a good idea. It's an answer. There's no explanation, no example. I can't give you a very high band score. V says, money has become more important for people over the past 50 years uh, due to increasing competition. So Vish uh, Pravani, one of our members, that was good. You have a good answer. You have an explanation. Can you give me an example, Vish? So Vish says, Vish, I believe you're a new member. Yeah, you just joined, which is fantastic. Vish, send me an email so I can hook you up with your perks. Um, so Vish, money has become, okay? Money has become, not have, has. But it's good that you're using present perfect, Vish, because the question is using present perfect. So money has become more important over the past 50 years due to increasing competition, Okay, people will sacrifice uh, 15, 16 hours a day to make more money. In the past, people didn't do this. After eight hours, they went home and relaxed. Okay, so Vish, that's what you can do. Uh, like my father, who works 16 hours a day at his company. 
All right, Amrit says, technology has been an astonishing factor in the last 50 years. Uh, people can make way more dollars than they used to through uh, the internet uh, or other tech-based businesses. Okay, good. Amrit, that's good. Just again, careful a little bit with grammar and word choice. So I did some real-time correction there. Bagzod says, uh, well, there has been a considerable alteration in the view of money among individuals as these days almost each person tries to gain more and more compared to the past. Um, yeah, okay, so there's more greed. There's more ambition towards money. Absolutely, those are some good answers. Farhan says, I believe overall human beings have grown greedier uh, and are deploying whatever means possible to earn money. The tendency to get rich overnight has also increased. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, doing illegal activities. Very good answer, Farhan. Very good answer. Well, I believe that people have gotten greedier over the past 50 years and are more likely to do whatever it takes to make an extra buck, even if it means breaking the law as I had mentioned previously. Just yesterday, I got an email which was phishing. I think it's spelled like this. Uh, for my credit card number. Okay. All right. So I'm taking a little bit of what Farhan wrote. That was a beautiful response, Farhan. Absolutely in the band eight, band nine range of responses. Uh, so I took that and even uh, added a little bit more to it as far as expression, natural language, some um, idiomatic language. And again, focusing on that answer, explain, example, while paraphrasing the question. Repeat after me, students, repeat after me. Well, I believe that people have gotten greedier over the past 50 years and are more likely to do whatever it takes to make an extra buck, even if it means breaking the law. As I had mentioned previously, just yesterday, I got an email which was phishing for my credit card number. Okay, there you go. All right, I'll read a couple more. Uh, Tina says, Actually, it's a little bit of a tough question. Please let me think about it for a moment. Tina, that's good. In the last 50 years, people's thinking has changed. People is plural, Tina. People's thinking has changed about making money. Uh, in the past, people worked long days and um, earned a specific amount of money. But now many people work less and make thousands of dollars, like my brother, who uh, made a ton of money online in FIBO group. Okay, Tina, that's a great answer. Okay, I really like your smooth flowing example. It's great. All right. Follow-up question. Why has this happened? So have a good answer to this one. Why has this happened? So we are all on the same page here. We have similar concepts. Uh, people like to make more money these days. There's a lot of get-rich-quick schemes, right? A lot of get-rich-quick schemes. Uh, people are willing to do more illegal activities like tax evasion and uh, ripping people off online, etc. Why has this happened? Okay, why has this happened? Saswati so says, because people have become greedy and also... Uh, they lose their moral values. They don't think about laws and rules. Okay. 
Uh, Amrit says, because the demands of life uh, are more than ever before. Amrit, explain that to me. It's a good answer. Uh, so there's more pressure uh, in life, arguably. Uh, what do you mean by that? Can you explain that? Maisa says, uh, because of the Industrial Revolution and people wanting a better standard of living, a better quality of life, Maisha. Very good. Explain that. Give me an example. Julie says, money is the nervous system of our life. Without it, people feel useless, and this pressure drives them to do such illegal activities. Sure. Okay, Julie, that's good. Again, clear explanation with an example. Okay. Rahul says, as far as I know, it's because of an increasing population and a changing global lifestyle. Uh, people want to have what others have. Sure. So, well... Hmm, there may be a few different reasons for this. For instance, it is easier to commit cyber crimes without getting caught. Also, People behave like the Joneses next door. They always want what the other has, and this drives them towards fiercer competition to make more cash. All right. Um, so there's my answer. Uh, again, I'm uh, always striving to teach you some new expressions, even a little bit of culture especially coming out of North America with this one. Uh, so repeat after me. Why has this happened? Hmm. There may be a few different reasons for this. For instance, uh, it's easier to commit cyber crimes without getting caught. Also, people behave like the Joneses next door. They always want what the other has. And this drives them towards fiercer competition to make more cash. Uh, like my neighbor who got a second job so that he could buy a boat like I have. Okay, uh, that would be an example of the Joneses next door. So Rahul saying, what's a Joan? It's not John. It's Jones, J-O-N-E, Jones next door. Uh, that expression, Rahul, we use when um, a person uh, uh, always wants what the other person has. So if I have a sports car, my neighbor wants to get a sports car. If I buy a boat, the neighbor wants to buy a boat. If uh, they see that I have a, a new TV, they want a new TV. So that's what we call the Joneses next door, okay? Igul says, the reason people want more money is because there's so many luxury cars, apartments, and to be able to afford them, their appetite has risen. Igul, beautiful grammar, outstanding grammar. Thumbs up. That is a band nine response. Very nice. Okay. All right. Uh, good job so far, students. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Uh, next question. As I said, today the focus is lots of practice. So keep pushing forward, keep repeating. Okay, repeat, repeat. And again, I reiterate, focus on answer, example, explanation. 
not in that order. Usually answer, explanation, example. Okay. All right. So next question. If a person wants to increase their revenue, what can they do? Okay. Karim Krimu, no worries. Better late than never, as they say. Hamza, good luck on your UK visa IELTS exam. Uh, Hamza, uh, UK VI, it just means uh, UK, a United Kingdom visa IELTS test. It's still the same general IELTS tests as the others. Okay. Arai Selin, good luck on your exam tomorrow. All right. Pachu says, if a person wants to generate revenue, they can do it in several ways. They can do it in several ways. Missing pronoun. Uh, Pachu. Uh, for example, in business, first they survey the market of their customers and uh, supply their demand. It's more clear, Pachu. Supply their demand. Okay. Uh, Vish. Parwani. If people want to earn more money, they need to expand their vision about the future. And... Uh, what elements will be cutting edge uh, so that they can invest their time and money in that now? Uh, Vish, that's really good. Vish, as I always say to students, really, really uh, avoid using the word things. Okay, Things is just, it's so useless in communication, uh, written or spoken. So don't, don't use that. Juan Pablo Avila says, when people want to earn money, uh, Juan, make sure you reflect the uh, specific uh, increase. So more money, not just make money, but make more money, right? So when people want to earn more money, oh, sorry, you have that there, Juan. It's, I misread you, my bad. Uh, when people want to earn more money, they usually look for another job or start a small company. Like my dad did a few years ago. He had to put, he had to put a small grocery store, and I'm guessing you have more coming up after that. Uh, Juan Pablo, that's great. Uh, sorry for missing the word more there. Thought you didn't have it, but my bad, misread. Uh, nobody's perfect. Here we go. Uh, Nimish Rastogi. Well, that's an interesting question. As per my opinion, if a person wants to earn more money, they have to work day and night seriously and must think about some alternative income source. Uh, Amina, don't use the word you, okay? Don't speak directly to your examiner. So people, Amina uh, Saeed, uh, people can increase their income uh, without breaching the law through numerous ways, like taking on a second job. As I mentioned, my neighbor just did. Amina, very good. I love how you connected uh, among the answers. Yeah, that's perfect. So Let's take that, okay? So, um, <clears throat> provided that a person wants to have greater uh, revenue, they can take on a second job, <clears throat> as I just mentioned in regards to my neighbor as well. One that I didn't see is education as well. People can uh, get higher education so that they earn more money for their time or Perhaps start a successful venture like the software company my younger brother established this spring. Okay, there we go. So that's a good answer. That works. Uh, repeat after me. Uh, provided that a person wants to have greater revenue. Uh, so many students did a really good job on this where they reflected the conditional. So this is a condition. If a person wants to, what can they? 
uh, and you want to show that in your answer. So use the question in your answer. Provided that a person wants to have greater revenue, they can take on a second job, as I just mentioned in regards to my neighbor. Very good job there. Um, I think it was uh, Nimish. As well, people can get higher education so that they earn more money for their time or perhaps start a successful venture. Venture is a nice way to paraphrase business if you don't want to use the word business over and over again. Like the software company my younger brother established this spring. All right, students. Some really good work, really good work. Uh, and then... Um, comes the follow-up question, which is right here. I'll take it, paste it below. So answer this one for me, students. Again, if I don't catch your comments, don't give up. Just keep writing. I'll eventually get to you. Okay. So the follow-up question is, does this always work? So does it always work? Or do these always work? It might be the question in this case. If you gave multiple answers. So do these always work? Okay, so Rahul Hardas, I think that's for the previous. As we know, uh, Rome wasn't built in a day. Nowadays, people are trying to build more wealth by investing whatever they earn. My uncle invests half of his money in fixed deposits. Uh, Rahul, it feels like you're really just trying to use the expression Rome wasn't built in a day. I don't think um, that works so well in this case. Rahul, if you want to think about an idiom that works for this question, think about idioms that are connected to money, like the early bird catches the worm. Now, students, don't use idioms in the speaking unless you have basically native English speaking skills and you're very confident in your use of idioms. Otherwise, they're kind of awkward and your score can go down. Okay, so be careful. Uh, Kyber, I missed yours, but just comment and I'll read the next one. Okay. Uh, Gulzoda says, if a person makes more profit, he has to uh, know economics. For example, my brother is an economist. He has his own business uh, and makes a six-digit salary every year. Okay. Okay. Arai Selin, Lawrence, I don't recommend using idioms in writing either. Idioms are usually non-academic. So in the academic IELTS, uh, it's even more awkward. Perhaps in task one of general writing, your letter, you might use an idiom. But don't do it unless you're 110% sure that it's clear and it's used well. Otherwise, it's just awkward. I don't suggest it. Okay. All right. Pachu says, well, uh, in most cases, uh, this does work because if a person has a strong desire uh, for employment or to put in an effort, this is Pachu, by the way, uh, then it's usually possible to earn extra money like what Adrian is doing. So-so, uh, Pachu, somewhat true. It doesn't always work for me either, you know, no matter how much effort I give. Um, so somewhat true. Uh, Bagzad says, yes, I definitely do believe that having higher education always helps to increase earnings as every company wants to have knowledgeable employees. Uh, very good, Bagzad. Uh, instead of worker, Begzot, I would use employees or professionals just because education, professionals, right? It's better than education and workers, okay? All right, uh, this is uh, Shang Tun. Um, I didn't, it doesn't, not didn't, it doesn't always work because people have to take risk in the industry if they don't know the rules of the profession uh, like my brother uh, in his uh, stock trading company, they can lose money or are not able to sell products. Okay, that's good. Just watch those grammar corrections in that one. Okay. Um, one way that you can start this off is by certainly there are no 
guarantees in life. I do believe that higher education does lead to more money most of the time, but ventures, on the other hand, can often cost money for the investors, especially these days. with rapidly changing economic climates. Okay, so uh, here we go. Certainly there are no guarantees in life. That's an expression, not an idiom. Uh, again, repeat after me. Certainly there are no guarantees in life. I do believe that higher education does lead to more money most of the time. But ventures, on the other hand, can often cost money for the investors, especially these days with rapid changing economic climates. And then I can give an example for that. All right. Great job. Now, one way to know that you're doing well in the speaking exam is when... Uh, in part three, the examiner gives you another set of questions. So they say, okay, let's talk about financial management. Uh, you're probably being quite fluent uh, at this point. You still have a bit of time. So the examiner opens up another topic. Now notice how this is very similar to the previous. So the first one was about making money. Now, we're really talking about managing money, so financial management, okay? As you can probably guess, part two is something about business or about someone who makes good money, okay? All right, let's take another question. So here we go. Uh, which professionals help people manage their money? Okay, give me a good answer for this one, students. Which professionals help people manage their money. And again, students, if I missed your response, don't worry about it. I'll get to it. Okay. Berkut Usibek says consulting companies. What kind of consulting companies? Financial consulting companies, Berkut. There are lots of types of consulting companies. Okay. Julie says, I do believe that our hard work up to the age of 23 will decide our future and fortune. Not necessarily true, Julie. Uh, I don't think that quite answers this question. But Julie, uh, think about KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, the colonel and his 63 secret ingredients. He was not a very rich guy until he uh, finally succeeded with the KFC franchise at the age of 63. I think he was 63, 67 when uh, the owner, the original owner of KFC made millions of dollars. All right. Uh, Vish says, commonly, commonly chartered accountants are good financial managers. Okay, chartered accountants. Uh, Vish is good. All right. Begzod says, well, chief financial officers, so CFOs in most businesses always play a fundamental role in managing money. Um, yep, yeah, absolutely. In a company that's good. Uh, Lanthew accountants are definitely about managing money. Sure. Juan Pablo says, I believe that people, uh, who help with financial issues are called financial consultants. They can offer advice and guidance to overcome personal economic crisis. Couple of, uh, corrections there, Juan Pablo, but you're doing a good job. Sure. Farhan says, retail bankers, mutual funds, and business venture activists help people manage their funds since they are professionals who know how, when, and where to invest. Farhan, can you give me an example to make that an even stronger response? Yeah, very good. Accountants are good. 
Uh, Kesey says uh, financial consultants. Okay. Uh, which professionals? So it's people here, Kesey, and a few other students. We're talking about people here, not which professions, uh, but which professionals. Uh, financial consultants can help people manage their money. They teach them how to invest and manage their customers' money. And I know you work in the banking system, Kesey, so good for you. You're helping people indirectly. Uh, Marina Mint says auditors, accountants. Yeah, there are lots of professions, okay? There are several professions that deal with helping individuals manage their funds like bankers, accountants, consultants, bookkeepers, and investors. or brokers, okay? Uh, so people that invest into the stock market or help you invest in the stock market are called stock brokers, okay? So they help you uh, manage your money. Um, I use the help of a very clever stock broker to gain an extra... 10% earnings each year on my investments. Okay, so that works quite well. Uh, life insurance companies put you absolutely. Life insurance brokers, they're also called life insurance brokers. Okay, keep that word in mind, students. I didn't really see it too often come up, but brokers, they're called brokers. Okay. All right, so repeat after me. Which professionals help people manage their money? There are several professions that deal with helping individuals manage their funds like bankers, accountants, consultants, bookkeepers, and investors or brokers. I use the help of a very clever stockbroker to gain an extra 10% earnings each year on my investments. Follow-up question. Bet some of you will love this one. Are they always helpful? Are they always helpful? So is it always helpful? <laughs> um, Asma Laban says, what are brokers? Uh, Asma, the better question is, who are brokers? Uh, brokers are people that you can do investments through. So if you want to buy a stock, like you want to invest into the Coca-Cola company, you can do that through a broker. It's a person who you can give money to, and then that person takes your money, invests it where you say or where you trust them to do, and then hopefully they make you some money. That's called a broker. Aman Grebal, super awesome. You got 8887.5. That's fantastic results. Good for you. Congratulations. Always happy to have uh, our students and our viewers share their success stories. Uh, Aman, that is a fantastic score. Good job. Good for you. And I wish you the best in your next step in life, whether it's school or for uh, immigration. Asma, you're very, very welcome. Uh, Begzad says, as life is full of mistakes, these individuals can sometimes uh, send the salary of a person unexpectedly to another. Just this month, my brother got $400 to his credit, which was his best friend's. Okay, begs out it was a little bit confusing. There's a couple of mistakes there. Rethink that one. Uh, Aigul says, yes, I think their financial knowledge can be handy as they know much more than me. Ooh, Aigul, uh, okay, it's a good answer, but careful with that in real life. Uh, brokers often will lose money, uh, so careful. Vish Parvani says, no one can predict the future. Uh, sometimes the uh, stocks which our consultant invests in might tank. Uh, Vish Parvani, not might get tanked, uh, but just simply might tank. 
okay? In this case, tank is the verb. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, what Vish Parvani is saying, tank means to completely drop to a very low number. That's when we say it's tanking, okay? Verb, not the noun. The noun is the uh, weapon, the vehicle with the cannon on it. Uh, tank means to dive bomb as a verb, okay, as a verb, all right? All right, Lanthew says, not really. I mean, due to the economic situation now, like the trade war between China and U.S., uh, managing money can be very unpredictable and even professionals can lose millions of dollars. Lanthew, very good, okay? Uh, Kesey says, it depends on the economic climate. Uh, these professionals could help people earn money on a sunny day, but also lose money when the stormy clouds roll in. Last year, I lost 10% of my money because the stock market tanked by 40%. So Kesey, very good. I combined some other words in there as well. Hi, Fear Dobbs. Sure. So not always as it is impossible to uh, accurately predict the future. These days, many professionals are losing people's investments due to the downturn of stock markets. In fact, my broker lost quite a bit of money, fortunately, it wasn't my investment, okay? So some great vocabulary, some very good answers there, students. You get the idea. Answer, explain, example. Here are a few more questions. Now remember, part three, you have these follow-up questions. So what are important points to consider for a person when they are planning their budget? Can you elaborate? How will financial planning change in future years compared to these days? Why is this? I'll leave these last two questions for you for homework. You can record them on your phone, send them to me in an MP3 format, I will gladly give you a band score estimate based on your lexical resource, based on your natural use of language, your coherence, your complexity, just like the official IELTS exam. Kyber, sorry that I missed yours. Don't worry about it. You're a great student. Send it to me in an email or in a recording, and I will certainly get back to you and let you know how you did, okay? No worries. Don't panic. All right, students, uh, again, remember, it's a great time to join our premium online uh, package for the IELTS uh, exam. For academic, go to aehelp.com. For general IELTS, visit us at gieltshelp.com. You have six original practice tests. You have uh, a fully interactive course, you have 100 hours of video lessons, and you can get a 20% discount uh, when you use the code LIVE20, L-I-V-E 20, on the uh, checkout form. So make sure to visit us. Uh, great participation today. I really loved the uh, huge amount of chatter in uh, this lesson. Uh, very, very good job, everyone. This is our general IELTS website with the green background. This one here with the blue background is our academic. Have a great rest of your Friday. I wish you a wonderful start to your weekend. I know lots of students are doing their exam um, today and tomorrow, so good luck to all of you who are doing your exams. Make sure to go to your speaking and your sit-down exam early. Use English as much as possible. Be strong. Be confident. You're beautiful people. Bye for now.